Thanks for swinging by the channel, taking the time to uh, check out one of my latest reviews. Um, so what I have here tonight is a brewer I've never had before. Uh, this is one out of Bearded Iris Brewing Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. And this here is their Escape Artist. It is a double IPA coming in at 7.6% alcohol by volume. I do not know what the IBU is on this, but I actually like the kind of uh, purple, blue, black kind of artwork there. You got their logo, uh, their uh, logo, logo, logo up there, escape artist there in white. It also lists the hops, Strata, Cashmere, and Citra, one of my favorites right there. So uh, nothing else really on the can. Um, that's a one pint L one pint of L uh, and it is just under a uh, three months old at this time of uh, this recording right here so I sent this one out to my man Ridgeopolis and uh, um, I think he's already reviewed it but by the time I'm I know he hasn't uploaded it yet at least by the time I'm recording this um, so I hope he enjoyed it and um, I hope I enjoy it so 7.6 percent alcohol by volume um, double IPA. Do not know what the IBU is on this, but I am. I'm looking forward to this right here. A couple of other ones I got in the refrigerator. I'm looking forward to. So if you've really been following the channel, you know since I've had some health issues, I've kind of dialed back um, the number of beer reviews that I'm actually doing uh, here on the channel. Uh, so this weekend. I think maybe I might do a couple of them this weekend. Oh, that smells. I, I, I can smell lemony zestiness, some mango, orange. Oh, that, look, that looks good. Nice looking hazy looking IPA, New England style IPA right there. Uh, you get, you really can't see through it. Uh, I see towards the bottom here where it's a little bit more narrow on the glass I see a, a shadowy silhouette on the back side up here towards the top as it flares out there's nothing just a murky shadowy at the bottom uh, just a awesome looking white head up on top of this about a finger uh, I've got some larger uh, bubbles popping in there but there's also uh, like a frothiness to it as well when i say large it's not like gigantic fish eye bubbles in there but there's noticeable bubbles popping in there just a fantastic looking beer right here oh yeah i get that orange that citrus kind of a sweet mango a zesty lime coming out or lemon coming off of this Mm, smells fantastic. Those strata and citra hops are coming through in this bad boy. So, looks fantastic. Awesome nose on it. One thing left to do, and that is uh, get us a drink on it. So, that's what it's all about. That's nice. Mm. That is nice. So, 7.6%. I'm getting traces of the, the alcohol. The alcohol. The alcohol. Medium body to maybe slightly higher uh, side of medium body. Got a fantastic prickliness, like a tongue, like little pins, little, little pin just sticking the tongue away on the, the tongue there, the nice prickliness. Mm. So, what do I get? Right up front, I immediately get a little bit of a pop uh, at the beginning of the palate. Kind of that... Um, little bit of a, a grapefruity citrusness up front but as it passes through the palate i actually get a little bit of a zestiness to it um 
I don't know if it's an orange zestiness, a lime zestiness. I get, or lemon, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying lime. Lemon. Um, but as it passes through, I get, so we start out a little bit of a citrusy grapefruitiness. Lemon, mango as it passes through. But there's a little bit of a zestiness to it. Lemon zestiness, mango zestiness, whatever you want to call it. It's just a little bit of a zestiness to it. Very smooth all the way through. Smooth drinking. Let's see what we got. See if there's any more goodies here before I wrap this up. Mmm. Yeah. Just really good. Nice head retention on this thing as well. You know, if I... Yeah, it's just got that that awesome New England style IPA nose. See that? Still got very, very nice head retention on this thing. Just fantastic lacing all the way around here. Definitely got uh, some care put into this. As far as scoring this, uh, is it the best New England style double IPA I've had? No, but it is super solid. I don't know if I'm going to go. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to give it a solid 4.25 um, out of 5. It's that good. I, I recommend this uh, to anybody that's an IPA, uh, especially, um, you know, if, if you're an IPA person, I definitely uh, recommend this, no doubt. Um, if you're a bearded iris fan, you probably probably already had this. You know, this is the first one I've ever had from Bearded Iris Brewing Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. It says thoughtfully brewed by them. So I recommend you go out and pick this up if, if it's in your area and you can get your hands on one. I don't know. I picked up a four pack. Um, I want to say fifteen bucks for a four pack, fifteen something. Uh, so around four dollars on the high side. Maybe it's four dollars a can. Um, so uh, definitely worth it. It's definitely four dollar beer, no doubt about it. Hey, anyhow, um, if you're new to the channel. I appreciate you become a subscriber. Uh, if you are a subscriber, I, I appreciate the support, and uh, like always, thanks for swinging by the channel, taking the time to uh, check out this review.